Do you ever wonder if your resume as a programmer, as an aspiring developer, is good enough to get you a job in the industry today? Then good thing you're watching this video, right? Use this one hack to upgrade your coding resume instantly. Check it out after the intro. Alright YouTube, what is up guys? Good afternoon. Today is a good day to start a new video for you guys. If you don't know me, these planes are really loud. What's going on, man? <laughs> if you're watching this video, you probably want to know how to up your coding resume game instantly. Go a good thing you clicked on this video. Today, what I want to talk about, what I want to show you is how to really instantly up your coding resume with this one hack. Now, the reason I know this is because before I was a programmer, for me, I had to do whatever it takes to make sure that I get a job, that I get a better paying job so I could take care of my family, take care of my health, take care of my life, and get away from living from paycheck to paycheck. That's how I went from having a job that paid $6.50 an hour, and I used that exact same thing to up my coding resume to get me to where I am today. And this is how you can do it too. What can you do, what resource do I use to up my coding resume is Indeed.com. Wait, Chris. Indeed.com, what are you talking about? Indeed.com is used to find jobs, to find coding jobs, to find jobs in the tech industry. No, 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 man. It is way more than just that. Because you have to think about this. Indeed.com isn't just used by people like you and I trying to find a better coding job or a new coding job, but it's for people who are actually looking to hire employees, who are actually looking to hire front-end developers, back-end developers, Angular, React, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, Ruby on Rails developers, whatever you name it, you call it. People are on Indeed.com to look for people like you and me. Then how can I use this to my advantage? Well, the question is, how do employers, right, people who are looking to hire people, even find people like you and me? It's not just through applying for the jobs. It's not just uploading my resume and finding them. The question then is, when I upload my resume, where does my resume go? It goes on Indeed, and it goes, it, it honestly, it goes up for the public to look for to check out to see if there's anyone who hasn't applied to their jobs if there's anyone in that website that they can find to actually hire so what I'm trying to say is this when you upload your resume at indie.com that becomes open to the public for those who are looking to hire people like you and me so why am I mentioning this is because of this. When you go on Indeed.com and you look find resumes, click find resumes or something like this, you'll see it right here. You'll actually be able to look for front-end developer resumes. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and go on here right now. I'm going to type front-end developer. Boom, click front-end developer, click, click. Then what happens? Boom, all of these resumes pop up. Now, what I'm trying to say is this, guys. You click this resume, and what you can do is you can look for actual current front-end developers or people looking for jobs, and what you can do is look at their resume. Compare it to the resume you have now, and look at what can you do that they did, what did they do on their resume that you're not doing to put on there? How did they sort out the resume? How did they sort it out? How are they displaying the skills? Because for someone like me as a front-end developer, when I had my resume, when I went out to apply for my job, honestly, I had no idea. I had no idea what to put on there. So what I did is I went on Indie.com. I look for web developers, junior web developers, front-end developers. I look for what they put. For example, let's do this. I go here and I click on this resume and let's look at how this person actually explains his resume. And you'll see that these people explain it just like this. Okay, I wanna show you exactly what it is that I did to make my resume better. So let's just pretend that I'm you right now and I'm just starting from the beginning, no experience. Uh, this is my resume, this is what my resume looks like. And so I go on Indeed.com, click find resumes, go back there, for, type in front end developer, Irvine, California, doing this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just look for some. I'm gonna just go ahead and what's cool about this is the fact that what Indeed.com does is that they allow you to just hover over a name and it'll automatically show you the resume, which make it so much easier for us. There's really no excuse today. So let's go ahead and I'll just click on this. Let's look at Hun Kim and let's look at what he does. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste this. Right click it, copy and paste it. Um, you just take a look, let's go to my, now look at my resume compared to his. Huge difference. So I'm just gonna delete everything I had in there, put his, and I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm, uh, I'm not a lead front developer, uh, but let's change this to Irvine, California. 
Uh, I'm not currently hired, but I'm in Irvine, California. So let's put that here. All right, so let's do this. And you know, I'm not a lead for a developer. Let's go ahead and delete this. Um, and you know, just put self-taught developer because I don't I don't work for a company yet. I'm a freelancer, right? I, you know what? Because I'm actually not hired yet. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is let's look for a freelance for a developer. Go ahead, type that here. Now let's look at Jonathan Cho right here, or you know, let's look at Pauline Chi. Paulina Chi. Look at that. Now that fits my skill set a lot better because I don't work for a company, so that resume wouldn't make any sense for me. So instead, what I'm gonna do, go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this into my resume. And look, look at this. I'm a front end. And web, I work with front-end web applications, I wireframes, HTML, make responsive layouts, use the interface design and development, use experience that is me or what I'm tending to be, right? And I'm a high, I'm a bold development. And you know what? Let's look at this. My skill set is here: HTML, CSS3, JavaScript, jQuery. And I used to work with Bootstrap, so I have that on there. I can work around WordPress. I know how to work with Google Analytics, which is cool. You know what? And I see this in the back end development. Now I don't do all of these languages, so I'll edit the code: AJAX, MySQL, PHP, Gulp, Git, Angular. Um, what else am I gonna add on top of Angular? I think that's good for now. And look at the software. Now you see this. I'm just getting ideas from this person right now. I'm a bold software, right? Go down, indent it. And I don't use all of the software on here. I use completely different software. So I delete this. I use Atom. And what do I use? I use Sublime Text. Now I do work with Photoshop. I'm not the best, but I have some experience in it. But I also work with Adobe Premiere because it's channel. Some people like that. Now I don't necessarily like Dreamweaver, but you know I can work with that. It's very easy and also. Work with Heroku. So this is cool. Now look at this. Look at my resume now compared to before. It looks way better now. Why? Because I did something about it. Let's look at what other things that this person would have put that I can put on my resume right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paste this down here. Make sure I got the right one. Right? Okay, perfect. Because this is actually some freelance work. Alright, so we go down here. Go ahead and go ahead and paste this. And you can tell, let me delete this line really quick. And you can see right away that wow, alright, this is better for me you know um again it says produce wireframes with html css um display information architecture and navigation process and flows i create a new fully responsive website using html css3 and you know what i'm gonna change this and change this to javascript let's fix that a little bit make it look a little bit more professional um and javascript code to add um let's see uh let me delete this Co and javascript code to add more maybe uh make it add JavaScript to make the website more interactive. Boom, delete this and fun to navigate. Put that there. All right. So, you know, that is what my page looks like now compared to before. It's, it's look at this, look at the difference from now compared to, you know, if you want, go back to what it usually looks like. But just looking at the stuff and looking at other developers and how they do their code. It's, it just it just makes your resume so much better and, and you know what you can do these things right majority of you can but you don't know how to explain it in a way that looks really good on a resume and this is honestly what I did to get to where I am today honestly I did this exact thing and I sent my application out to potential um, people employers and you know what I felt so much more confident because I felt like wow I'm copying these professional people to make the page I have now and so man I hope this helped out I hope this one hack will really help you guys up your resume game in this industry to get a job as a web developer no matter what man no excuses keep hustling keep working hard let me know if you guys like tutorials like this and helping you get a job like the video if you want me to do that leave a comment below if you want me to go over something else too and I will go over it if you haven't yet, man, you gotta help me up my social media game. If you have Instagram, you have to add me right here. Real Chris Sean, put the link in the description below, right there. And you know what, man? I just wanna say, guys, again, thank you so much for all the love that you give me. Really, like, thank you. So oh, and I still have my headphones on. No. <laughs> thank you guys so much for all the love that you've given me. And I'm s extremely humbled by the fact that thousands of people will watch me and my channel. You guys are amazing. I'm so thankful. I can't believe this. Let's keep doing this, guys. Let's go ahead and let's keep coding, change lives. This is Krishan. This is Life Web Developer. And I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.